Alright, um, it's been a while since I made a video. I think my video rate has slowed down, obviously for scholastic reasons, and the fact that I completed anti-statism circa 2013 a few weeks ago. Again, continuing with my strategy of re writing one book per month and releasing it on a year-by-year -year basis, which is extremely efficient. I'm extremely sick though. And I cough like a donkey when I'm this sick. So that's a problem. But anyway, um I wanna make a video explaining um what I think about feudalism because I've noticed that I've cited a lot more sources for stateless societies in um this third conclusion to the trilogy than I have in any other scholastic writing. And one of those reasons I think, um, one thing I should mention is that I don't mention, um, civil societies that aren't in a state of anarchism. And that's why I don't cite places like medieval Ireland. Since, as you know, most of the feudalist societies were also stateless for the most part until near the end of feudalism. So you can say the Dark Ages were for Europe a mostly stateless society and of course um, this would last for hundreds of years until states would make their ultimate return from heights or at least they're semi stateless but they weren't in a state of anarchism now there were a lot of um, more voluntary associations that were caused by the loss of the state, but because it was feudalist, um, you could tell there was a decrease in lifespan, so there's, um, debt slavery, and there's a lot of things that wouldn't count as anything that's a state of true anarchism. And one of the things I'm mentioning this for is, well, what about capitalism? We've never really seen um, capitalism being applied to anarchism. Perhaps stateless societies like um, during the homesteading era of Western United States. But <coughs> even then. Okay, here's the thing. Um, is capitalism any better than feudalism? My answer is that capitalism has shown more empirical decencies when it's on a free market as opposed to juxtaposed to feudalism where when that was in the you know less statism or no statism it was better but if capitalism you see a lot more empirical advantages, longer lifespans, and better economic productivity. Because it's not just a bunch of uh, vassals that are basically inspecting a bunch of workers who are being babysitted. Nope, it's a lot more in it's a lot more efficient in terms of investment and growth. Um, uh, yeah, it's all I gotta say, really. In conclusion, this is a two-step video. One, I don't talk about feudalism or stateless societies of that nature because they aren't in a state of anarchism and they don't bridge libertarianism and all those sweet spots. And two, um, while libertarianism, I mean, while feudalism happens to be better when it's in less statism, just like capitalism, capitalism ultimately beats it on a very empirical nature in regards to aggregate lifespans and things of that nature, growth. 